$32,450 was invested in mutual funds with an annual interest rate of 17.4% compounded three times per year. After how long would there be $292,520.12 in the mutual funds? First step is our exponential growth formula. C sub n is equal to C sub 0 times 1 plus i to the power of n, where i is the annual interest rate divided by the number of compounds, 17.4% divided by 3. 17.4% written as a decimal, divide by 100, that gives us 0 0.174. Divide that by 3. 0.174 divided by 3 is 0 0.058. 0 0.058 n is total number of compounds, three compounds a year, times time, but we don't know time. n is m times t, so it's going to be three times t, and we're going to be solving for t. Let's feed in everything we know. We end up with $292,520.12. That's our c sub n. Our c sub zero is our original amount, 32450 times one plus our interest, which is 5.8%, or 0. 058 raised to the power of n, which is 3t. We want to get the 3t alone, right? So I want to get rid of, first I want to get rid of this 32,450, which is multiplying by bracket. I'm going to divide both sides by 32,450. When I divide the right-hand side, it cancels. That's the point, right? When we divide the left-hand side, we get this division. That simplifies to 2, 2, 9, 2, 5, 2, 0. Divided by 3, 2, 4, 50 is equal to 9.01448. It goes on for a while. Do not round that number. Keep it in your calculator. We get this expression, and we're after the t, which is in the exponent. So we've got to go to the logarithms. And remember our logarithmic trick. If we remember that 10 to the power of 2 is 100, and the log of 100, base 10, is 2, then that gives us a roadmap on how to switch back and forth from exponential form to logarithmic form. Our old base is the base of the logarithm. Our old exponent is the answer. Our old answer is what we're taking the log of. The log of 100, base 10, is equal to 2. We're going to express this in logarithmic form. Our old base is going to be the base of the logarithm, and we're going to be taking the logarithm of the 9.01448 to the base 1.058 that and it's going to be equal to our exponent is equal to 3t then we're going to use our change of base rule that says if you're taking the log of a base b you can rewrite that as the log of a divided by the log of b and both to whatever base you want in our case we're going to pick base 10 we're saying the log of this thing base 10 divided by the log of our old base base 10 and we're doing base 10 because the calculator can do base 10 so then we can actually figure out what our 3t is equal to take that number take the log of it base 10 divided by the log of my 1.058. On my calculator, I have to press the number in first and then log. Okay, some calculators you have to press log first and then the number is equal to 39. 39 is equal to 3t. I want to get my tl alone. The 3 is multiplying the t, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And that is going to give me 13. 13 years. There would be $292,520.12 after 13 years. 13 years is our answer. Let's go back to the program. So 13, you can press the year button, and then don't forget the S, so 13 years, and enter. And that's it for a level 27 type question. Have a good day.